Hi everybody, well, today we are going to correct the last exercise that I have given you. So the title is correction of the homework. Now please take your copy books and your green pens and let's correct all together. So the first picture that I have given you, it's like this. In the question they say, look at the pictures, can you say the words? Of course here, uh, you are going to write the number of each picture. For example, I give you in this exercise number. Uh, I give you the alphabet and also the word. So A, I give you potato. Then you have to give me which number is it. So potato. The number of potato is six. B. Bread. So what is the number of bread? Is Three. Very good. So it is number three. C. I give you coffee. So coffee is number two. D. Fish. Fish number five. E. Apples. So we have apples. Which number are they? Of course, they are at the end of these pictures. So it's number eight. F. Rice. Number four, G, T. So here we cannot say Tia. Pay attention, please, guys, your pronunciation. We cannot say Tia. Is it okay? So we say T, number one. And the last picture is about tomatoes. So tomatoes are in number seven. That's it. So please, if you have any mistakes here, try to correct it with the green pen. Second exercise, here I ask you, uh, I asked you to write about you. What do you like and what do you don't like? So here you have to give me correct sentences and try to use the expression that I have already taught you before. Expression how to express likes and how to express dislikes. So here you can give any example that you like. So I give you some examples. I like tea, but I don't like coffee. You see here, we have a contrast between the two sentences. I say, I like tea, but I don't like coffee. You see? So here I use the expression of like, I like, then I don't like. This is the expression of dislike. Second sentence, I like potatoes, but I don't like tomatoes. You see here, I like, I don't like. Three, I love meat, but I hate fish. You see now here the degree of love. Here if you say, I love meat, but I don't like fish, it's not that good because if you, uh, there is a big difference between I love and I like. For example, if you say, I like coffee, this is for, 40, uh, this is for 15%. But if you say, I love coffee, it's about 100%. You see now, and also the the same way the same thing with I hate. If you say I hate potatoes, so here it means one hundred percent. But if you say I don't like potatoes, it's only about sixty percent or fifty percent like this. Sentence number four: I adore apples, but I detest grapes. You see here we have I adore, then I detest. Then the last sentence I give you, I like cucumbers, but I dislike carrots. These are just examples. You can choose other food that you like and also that you don't like. It's up to you guys. It's up to you. And please just try to obey the rule. You have to give me subject plus verb plus object. Is it okay? Subject plus verb plus object. And how can you link between the sentences? You can link between them with contrast, contrasting words like but, however, and so on and so forth. And also you can link between sentences with adding. How can you add, uh, how can you add IVs or uh, things between sentences? Of course you can say and, then, okay? Now let's move on to the third exercise that I have given you it's about this picture so look at the pictures how many words do you know 
tell your partner. So here I give you how many pictures here? We have 12 pictures. And I ask you to tell me what are they? Yes or no? So let's write the words. So what is number one? Number one, what is it? Yeah, carrot. Here we say carrots with S because we don't have only one carrot. We have many. So we say carrots. Number two. They are what? They are onions. Very good. Onions. You cannot say onion because we have three here. Onions. Number three. I think it's easy. Potatoes. Good. Potatoes. Number four. We have two. Tomatoes. Good. Tomatoes. Number five. And uh, this is the most catastrophic thing that you have done when I have corrected your mistakes. I found that most of you made a mistake here. Number five, it is not pumpkin. These are something else. Look at the picture carefully. That peppers. That peppers. Is it okay? Pumpkin, it is something else. P pumpkin, it is kabuyo. But peppers, it means full full. Is it okay? Try to pay attention, please. Try to pay attention. Try to be careful to your words and try to look at the pictures carefully. Number six, also you have done here uh, some mistakes. Number six, they are what? They are peas. They are not green peas. Beans, yeah, peas. These are gilben. Peas. It's not beans. Beans. It means lubia. So please try to pay attention. Try to differentiate between the two. Number seven. Apples. Very good. So they are apples. And number eight. Pears. Pears. Number nine. Oranges. Oranges because we have here uh, two or three. Number 10, peaches. Cannot say just one peach because we have here three peaches. Number 11, strawberries. It's not only one strawberry, but we have three strawberries. And the last one are bananas. Bananas. It's not bananas. Bananas. Is it okay? So I think it's very really easy. Correct your mistakes, please, with the green pen. Is it okay? Very good. Now let's move on to... Here, uh, I give you an extra exercise to do. It's really good. But here, you, what you have to do, I'm going to say the words and try to listen to my pronunciation. And at the same time, you are going to write what you are hearing. Is it okay? So in the part of exercise, write the date. Write extra exercise about the vocabulary. Is it okay? And write the numbers of these pictures. Then listen to me. Now I'm going to start. Okay? Are you ready now? So let's start. Number one, carrots. Carrots. So fill in the blanks, please. Number one, carrots. Number two, cake, cake. Number three, peppers, peppers. Number four, yogurt, yogurt. Number five, omelet, omelet. Number six, Chelly con car. Chelly con car. Number seven. Cafe. Cafe. Number eight. Beans. Beans. Number nine. Carry. Carry. And number ten. The last picture is salad. Salad. That's it, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed your time and also you understand very well the 
the correction of uh, the last homework and also try please to do this exercise because it is really essential for you and next time I'm going to correct with you this uh, exercise and at the same time we are going to have another new lesson that's it I wish you the best see you and goodbye